that God can to be with us and continue to help us to learn that we can give you all honor and all glory. Be that hedge around us now. Thanks for your Holy Spirit that is here. We pray and ask it all in what is name for your son, sweet Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay. Exercise. The curse cause that shall not come. Disease never come without a cause. So whatever the issue is, there is a, a reason for it. This is an effort of nature to free the system from condition that result from the violation of the laws of health. What are the laws of health? Pure air, sunlight, abstemiousness, rest, exercise, proper diet, the use of water, trust in divine power. These are the true remedies. And the Lord God took man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. This is Genesis chapter 2. Verse 15, so before sin, right? Man had to work, had to be exercised. He said, wherefore seeing also we are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finish of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despised the same, and it is set down at the right hand of the throne of God, right? But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings of eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. That is the song. They adage, use, use it or lose it, applies not only to muscle and bone, but also to heart, lungs, brain, blood, blood vessels, joints, and every other part of the body. A, sed a sedentary lifestyle is a direct route to an early grave, to an earlier grave, right? So if you don't use it, you're going to lose it. And believe it or not, that works out in almost everything that we do, okay? It said, stay three effects on the body during exercise, muscle fiber contract and release, heart pump more rapidly, lungs work harder to get more oxygen to the body. Name three benefit to the body that is triggered by exercise. It increases enzyme reaction, right? Um, so it allows the food to, uh, to be broken down easier. Nerve stimulation, metabolic enhancement. So exercise allows you to, to lose weight. Also, as Dr. Lamy just finished, um, rest from um, melatonin and a lot also to do with losing weight. So when you get proper rest, um, you, you, it allows you to lo lose weight also. But when, when, as a matter of fact, where exercise is concerned, do you know that exercise regulates the, 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 the body weight? If you are a slender person and you exercise, exercise um, the right time off the right amount of time, after a while you find yourself start putting on weight. And if you are overweight and you continue to do this, also you'll find yourself start losing weight. Exercise can help you to burn calories, increase strength and endurance, feel better and have more energy, optimizing heart health, live a longer up your life. Exercise can help to what? Lower blood pressure, resting heart rate, lowers LDL cholesterol level in the blood, and raise HDL cholesterol, strengthen bone by retaining calcium, lift depression. You know that every time that you walk and your foot hit the ground, calcium is absorbed and it helps to strengthen the bone. 
This is why walking is one of the best exercise. Not one, walking is the best exercise for the human body. The best is what? Walking. But while you're cycling, right? While you're swimming, the foot is not hitting the ground. So that does not help to strengthen the bone as a walking would um, help to strengthen the bone. Depression also, right? It help with. Relieve anxiety and stress, right? It's so much benefit, increase overall energy and efficiency in all areas of our life. Maintain desirable weight level, improve what circulation also, right? So exercise help with, yeah, there are certain persons who have um, circulation problem in, in the feet, right? We say down at the bottom there is dark, especially with diabetics. One of the best form of exercise for that is a, a, circuit, a, as a circulation rhythm rock that we go on our tippy toe and then come back on our heel. Uh, on our heel. And he did it about and both of them one time on the, on the tippy toe, back on the heel. If you can do every morning, at least two to 300 every morning, in no time, that dark part of the feet clear up and come back natural, right? So it's excellent for circulation problem. The blood is not enabled. The blood is not enabled to expel the impurities as it would if active circulation were induced by exercise, right? Judiciously, exercise would induce the blood to the surface and thus relieve the internal organs. Brisk yet not violent exercise in the open ear with cheerfulness of spirit will promote the circulation, give, giving a helpful glow to the skin and send the blood, vi blood vitalized by the pure hair to the extremities. So one I think that we know whenever you go exercising, especially if you and someone walking, while walking, you must be able to talk freely without grasping breath, you understand? So you, you must go fast enough, go as fast as you can go without reaching the stage where you have to be um, grasping breath. Is it that um, Tanisha Johnson Williams, I think, and his race? Do you want to say something? Yes, I wanted to ask when you said that every time your foot hit the ground, calcium is absorbed, is it barefooted or yeah, when you have slippers, it happens the same way? Same way, whether you're in shoes or not, the same way. Okay. Okay. Neglecting to exercise the entire body or a portion of it will bring, a morbid, bring on morbid condition. Inaction of any of the organ of the body will be followed by a decrease in size and strength of the muscle and will cause the blood to flow sluggishly to the blood vessel, right? So this is why we have to always keep, what, keep moving. There are a lot of persons when they come out to exercise, I don't force them, but some person will want to exercise six days a week, if, especially those who are seven day Adventists. They figure more or less that exercising on Sabbath is work. Well, um, all of these things are like medicine to us. If you notice, every day we need fresh air, oxygen. Every day we need sunlight, as every cell in the body has a receptor for sunlight. Every day we need water, and the list goes on and on. So why? And one day we should deprive the self of exercising. Also, um, whenever you go to the doctor and the doctor gives you a drug medication, do you take it six days a week or do you take it seven days a week? Yes, you take it all seven days a week. So I'm not going to fight, beat down someone if they decide not to exercise on Sabbath, but Sabbath is one of my best exercise days when I get to meditate even more in the Lord, um, less traffic. It's a blessing, okay? And we're, and we're told in spirit of prophecy, we said that um, when the weather permits, all who can possibly do so, to walk in the open air every day. Yeah. Every day. Every day. So if you don't use it, anything that, put it this way. Go ahead. Right. Every day, if you don't lose anything at all that you don't use on a regular basis, you're going, you're going to lose it after a while, okay? 
What is the best medicine for disease? For disease, when the weather will permit, all who can possible do so are to walk in the open here every day. What every day? Every day except Sabbath? No, every day, summer and winter. But the clothing should be suitable for the exercise and the feet should be well protected. A walk even in winter would be more beneficial to the health than all the medicine a doctor may prescribe for those who can walk. Walking is preferable to riding, right? So every day, one of the things that is happening, I like to see Dr. Lamley and nurse walking in the morning because everybody, I think, believe that they, they go to Gino Jennings Church because they would walk in their long skirt in the morning and they'll be looking and say, what is happening there? They must go to Gina Jennings Church. But it's far better for our female to walk in long skirt than in um, the, the sweat bottom, that, uh, the tights and all those things, because it can be dangerous. Where the, the male influence is concerned, it can be deadly in more ways than one. We won't get it in. Now, when we're doing dress for form, then we can get into that, OK? The muscle and the veins are enabled better to perform their work. There will be increased vitality, which is so necessary to help. The lungs will have needful action, for it is impossible to go out in the brace, out in the bracing air of the winter morning without inflating the lungs, right? Um, I remember we were in England, um, London, and um, the time was very cold. But I, I remember that it's important for me to obey all the laws of health. So what I did, I make sure that almost every morning I went walking while it was cold. I could not believe, Bridget, that while walking in the cold, I could sweat so much. You understand? So um, it was helping still to get out those impurities and thing. Exercise will aid the work of digestion. To walk out after a meal, hold the head erect, put back the shoulders, and exercise moderately will be a great, of great benefit. The mind will be diverted from self to beauty of nature. The less the attention is called to the stomach after a meal, the better if you are in constant fear that your food will hurt you. It's most assuredly will. Forget self and think of something cheerful, right? So whenever you finish eating, there's a walk that we call them a digestive walk. So you can walk up to 10, 15, 20 minutes, a casual walk, right? What it does, it aids in the digestion. Whenever you eat, the sugar level starts rising. And what this does, it put a cap on the sugar level and it also aids with digestion. This, they, they, they have a thing they call niggeritis. That when you finish eat your feet, sleep is not niggeritis. It's a, it's a, it happens to all human because when you eat, the sugar level start rising. So the digestive walk is not a quick walk, it's a brisk walk, but just an easy walk. And, and you walk, you can probably pray with somebody, educate someone, but it's best for you to walk after each meal. If you work in a sedentary if your work is sedentary, take exercise every day and at each meal, eat only two or three kinds of simple food. Taking no more of these than will satisfy the demands of hunger, right? So let it be very simple, right? Weightlifting aerobic exercise utilize the fast and slow twitches muscle that does what? Boost metabolism, burn fat, strength the cardiovascular system right so you see what it does on a daily basis that's why i believe in as the sister white said exercise, um, exercise every day this is why i believe that i can also exercise and the sabbath exercise in a gymnasium over well conducted cannot supply the place of recreation in the open air and for this our school should offer better opportunity whenever you most times when you go to the gym to exercise uh, there are some gyms that is on the roof, which is the best. But there are some gym, gym that is also fully ac What happens in these gyms is that when you breathe out, you breathe out carbon dioxide. 
whenever you inhale, you inhale back the same carbon dioxide because what the AC does, it allow the, the hair, the same hair to be circulated, right? Right, with, the, with, with no fresh air coming in. So it defeats the purpose of you exercising in a gym that is locked up and um, the AC is running, okay? Encourage the patient to live healthfully and to take an abundant of exercise. This will do much to restore them to health. Let's see it be placed under the shade of trees that the patient may be encouraged to spend much time out of door. This is why the sanitarium is extremely important to God. People where persons can get away from the city, get away from the, you know, there's a lady there, there that came down with some heart condition. And she said every time that she go into the kitchen to cook, um, she, bec she became weak and all those things. While at a sanitarium, you, do, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have persons who would want to be cooking for you, for doing everything for you, to talking to you daily, right? So that is the best. How do you know that you are exercising at your target heart rate zone? If you can exercise and carry on a basic conversation, then that's the correct rate for you. Remember I tell you that as long as you exercise and you cannot um, have a dialogue with someone naturally easily, then you are going too fast and you wouldn't be burning fat per se, but you'd burn, be burning predominantly sugar based on the speed that you're going at. During moderate exercise, fat is used as energy, but during intense exercise, carbohydrate, glucose become the fuel of choice. What you want to lose most times is what? Fat. When is the best time to exercise? early in the morning. Morning exercise, walking in the free invigorating air of heaven, or cultivating flowers, small fruits, and vegetables is necessary to helpful circulation of the blood. It is the surest safeguard against cold, cough, congestion of the brain, inflammation of the liver, the kidney, and the lung, and hundreds of other diseases, right? So walking. Right, also good to do gardening. Gardening, when you plant something and seed burst, seed start growing, watch it till it, till it come, brings forth fruit is, is, is awesome. What is the best form of exercise and why walking? Because there's a lower risk for the injury and less shock to the joint. Do you know that mankind was not made naturally, created naturally to run, right? If you notice our feet, our feet, we have straight legs. Unlike the animals, well, most of the animals have a kind of a, 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 a bow thing that when they, it's like a shock thing, when they drop it, it goes, it, it, it kind of cushion, right? Man, our thing was a flight, our, our fight, our hormone thingy, that if something I'm about to move or any emergency, but to run professionally, it's not, it's not, a, it's not good. Do you know that they have a disease that is called um, a, runner's, a runner's heart? They talk about a runner's heart. What happened, Virgin, is that the heart is a muscle. And the more you exercise a muscle, is the bigger it becomes, right? And when the heart becomes bigger, it starts what? Malfunction, right? Also, the prostate, persons who run consistently start having a lot of prostate issue because when you over the prostate also, that's shaking up and down, right? That is why a lot of persons who are drivers, they drive continually on these rough roads, sitting in the place also that is overheated. A lot of them after a long while come down with prostate issue. But running also damage the joints. A lot of runners, they have ankle problem, knee problem, all manner of different problems. So for us to run professionally as all we do, it does not give God the honor and the glory. Walking in all cases where it's possible is the best remedy for disease body because it is, a, it is in this exercise all the organs of the body are brought into use. Many who depend upon the movement and cure could accomplish more for themselves by muscular exercise than the movement can do for them. In some cases, want of exercise causes the bowel and the muscle become enfeebled and shrunken, and these organs that have become enfeebled for want of use will be strengthened by exercise. 
there is no ex exercise that can take the place of walking by the circulation of the blood is greatly improved. Do you know that persons can become can have be constipated because they're not walking? Right? And when you go to the doctor, the first thing they do is fully with all one of different drug medication. When all you need to do is exercise, is walk. One of the best things to do in the morning before you walk, you get your lemon juice and your warm water. Preferably um 16 ounce, 32 ounces is the best of warm water and lemon juice. If it's if it's a lemon itself, half of a lemon goes to eight ounces of water, right? And if it's the, the liquid, I think you use two tablespoons to eight ounces of water. What that does is that lemon is a natural cleanser, right? Don't think that things take God by, by, by surprise. Um, a lot of persons are drinking the, 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 the water, the tap water, which has a lot of um, chlorine in it and things like that. But do you know that lemon break up those things? and cleanse the system. That is why when somebody have kidney stone, one of the main things that is given to, to, to break up kidney stone is lemon, right? It's lemon. So what the lemon does, it, it cleanses the system. The warm water also helps to open the system, prepare the way um, for bowel movement and also for, um, for breakfast, right? For breakfast. So when you walk and, and that, and fill the tummy with that lemon warm water in the morning. When you go goes back in, you get a very good bowel movement to start the day. So you won't feel sluggish and tired as normally. What are the benefits of exercise for the heart? Regular physical activity reduce heart disease. Walking 30 minutes a day or more reduce the risk of heart disease by 18%. Now, one thing that we learn on our, on our while going out on medical missionary trips is that somehow whenever you walk for one hour healing start taking place right right away we have seen persons with different ailments we let them walk half an hour 40 minutes 50 minutes no healing taking place but as soon as they hit that one hour mark that we start seeing results so i don't know what god is a, a god that will work out for order and time so i know that it has something to do with him the ways and way of it i do not know but i know that god and put it in place that way. Brisk walking will lower the risk of heart disease. Women who walk more than one hour daily per week reduce heart disease, right? So I you know when it come on to heart issue with females, so it's best, it's good for us to walk. Um, what type of cancer is reduced in men during, due to regular exercise? Prostate cancer by 74%. And I can tell you this as a fact, a lot of persons that have prostate cancer, enlarged prostate, what I think that I get them doing is walking keep walking and it helps to, to, to shrink or to reduce um, persons who have cast, um, prostate cancer. So, you see how normally why God could say these are the true remedies, exercise, proper diet, the use of water, because these work naturally. It, it's a, the thing is, Virgin, is that it takes discipline to be obedient to these laws. It takes discipline to go out there to get an hour, hour and a half sunlight between the hours at nine and three when you have so many things to do. But what you do, if you have something that you have to do, if you can do it in the sun, it would be best, okay? What type of cancer is reduced in women due to regular exercise? Breast cancer is reduced by 37% when women exercise a natural chemotherapy agent. If they are already affected with breast cancer and walk between six hours, six to eight hours a week, the risk of early death is decreased by what? 50%. It also reduces cancer of the stomach, ovaries, vagina, and cervix. Okay? So keep moving, keep walking. One hour brisk walking each day will reduce weight. A sedentary lifestyle can develop obesity. Therefore, energy output must be more than energy intake. And I remember a, a, a friend of mine, he married to a beautiful wife. She was 95 at the time that he married to her. And I remember that lady, she ate a lot. She was exercising until she weighed about three, 400 pounds. And um, they, I think she could not come to the door to how big she was, right? So um, it's, exercise is good. Exercise as an 
immediate and prolonged effect on blood sugar among diabet diabetics. And one of the main thing in reversing diabetes, one of the main thing is walking, right? Walking. One hour of continental walking is equivalent to 20 units of insulin. One study reported that the benefits of increased glucose uses last several hours after exercise, right? So one hour of what continual walking is equivalent to 20 units of insulin. And you know that somebody with five units of insulin can pull down a blood sugar level from way up all the way down, right? So can you imagine 20 units, right? No wonder why within seven to 10 days, we are able to get the, the result that we need where persons can come off of their medication by seven to 10 days. Regular exercise increased feeling of well-being, reduced stress, anxiety, and tension, offers long-term anxiety relief, ease depression while reducing mus muscle tension, heart rate, and certain stress hormones. Exercise significantly improved blood flow to the brain and increased brain neurotransmitters, such as serotonin and dop dopamine, which have a positive effect on the body and well-being. And this is why exercise is so good for persons who are going through depression. The exercise of the brain in study without corresponding physical exercise. The exercise of the brain in study without corresponding physical exercise has a tendency to attract the blood to the brain and the circulation of the blood through the system become unbalanced. The brain has too much blood and the extremity too little right too little that is why just just saying something here that um being distracted by exercise there should be regular regulating there should be rules regulating their studies to certain hours and then a portion of their time should be spent in physical labor and if their habit of eating, dressing, and sleeping are in accordance with physical law, they can obtain an education without sacrificing physical and mental health. What is the most effective way to build bone density? A balanced, lightweight training, routine, and yard work. A combination of raking leaves, weeding, and gardening. I know said nurse love to hear this. As nurses now, finding pleasure in breaking the front yard. Uh, very good, very good nurse, right? All right. Can exercise help with aches and pain? Yes. One study found that moderate exercise helped lessen symptoms of osteoporosis in people over 60 years and a great re reduction in pain and flexibility issues, right? All right, we are at the lifestyle aspect of it now, All right? Turn to exercise in the lifestyle assessment form. There are certain questions, there are certain questions that we ask on the lifestyle assessment form. There's a reason for doing so, and because you'll be using that form shortly, we're trying to see if we can um, give you the uh, understanding why we do what we do. Do you exercise? Why is exercise so vital to our health? What is one of the questions that is placed here? For what? Proper blood circulation, strengthening of bone and muscle, treatment of disease, it lowers blood sugar, blood pressure, and cholesterol. And while persons listening to the presentation, it gives them a good laugh. How many times per week? How many times would, would, would you recommend exercise? Seven days per week, right? Walking first thing in the morning would burn mainly what fat. Walking later in the day will burn what 50% sugar and 50% fat. Walking hour, one hour of continental walking is equivalent to what? 20 units of insulin, right? Now, the next thing that we need to understand that some persons, while walking in the evening, it affects them. Why? When you walk, walking energizes you, right? Energize us. And when you walk in the evening near the bedtime, you have so much energy that no matter how you try to sleep, 
it, it, it become a problem, right? So if you can exercise the evening and go to bed easily, not a problem. But if you find that after exercise, you have so much energy that you can't sleep, you have to cut it out and do the morning exercise, right? How would you rate your exercise? Someone you are consulting is a marathon runner that does 20 mile run every day, vigorous for two hours a day. What would you advise them on such a program? This result is over taxation of the giant and we are with the cartilage. Studies show that runners get runner's art. That is an enlarged art and this can lead to what? Art attack, okay? So you pass on these information and then the more you study, you'll get other information that you can pass, pass on to them, right? What are your favorite exercise sessions? Why is walking the very best kind of exercise? He said, walking in all cases where it's possible is the best remedy for disease body because in this exercise, all the organs of the body are brought into use. There is no exercise that can take the place of walking. By the circulation of the blood is greatly what? Greatly improved. So walking is the best exercise, brethren. Okay, walking. How do you feel after your exercise? If someone feels bad after their exercise, does it mean that they should stop exercising? Do not stop exercising. Eat what? Eat a fruit, right? Preferable an orange, right? Especially if you're a diabetic. All diabetic, while when going walking, will be doing diabetes soon. While going walking, make sure you carry an orange with you. And also peel that orange because it, it, it dropped the blood, blood sugar level so fast that sometimes you can bottom out. And if you do not have an orange, you don't want to be biting into it with the, with the peel, with the skin on. So it's preferably best to, to, um, to walk with an orange, okay? Do you experience any pain while you are exercising? Someone put down that they have pain, especially in the chest and radiating down their legs, their left arm. What advice would you give? They may have, they may have an have heart attack, right? I'll be having an heart attack, right? Oh, yeah, they may have heart disease, okay? Get them tested and treat conditions. So don't forget this, no, no. It says someone put down that they have pain, especially in the chest. Um, you have any pain in the chest here? Read it in down their left arm, right? What advice would you give them? They may have what? Heart disease, right? Looking almost to, to, for, for an heart attack, right? Get them tested and treat what? Condition. Okay. All right, this is where we finish for tonight. But I remember there is a, I was in a country and I was working with a lady and I told her that she should walk an hour every morning. When I came back home to Jamaica, I got a call from her. And she said to me, she said, Brother Taylor, I cannot take this walking. I said, what happened? She said, mad, mad blood disease, killing me. I said, mad blood disease. But I said, man, I've never heard of that, that, that disease yet, that sickness yet. And at that time, I didn't have Google um, at my hand. I could Google and said, what is mad blood disease? So I, I said to her, OK, OK. I said, give me some time. I'll get back to you. And I went to him. I tried Google. I tried everything. And I could not find out what is this mad blood disease. Right? But what I said to her, sis, keep walking. I said, keep it walking. And after a while, things will get seen. So one day I was, I have a daughter. She was living with her mom. And uh, my mother, she, she didn't take, she, she didn't walk. She take taxi to school, taxi home and things like that. So when our mom, mom was going overseas, our mom leave her with me. And I said to myself that I will not um, hold her like this. I'm gonna give her some free reign, enough. You, you understand? And she was there walking. She walked real fast. She couldn't believe that she get this privilege. So she'd walk all over the place. And I tell her that, look here, I'm not gonna give you, oh, she said, take taxi. I stop her and she start walking. And this ch child, she walked brisk and they'll walk for miles and everything was okay. 
One morning, it was two of them, one man I remember, I, I asked them both to come exercise with me. Would you believe me, Bridget, that after a few, um, a few distance, a little distance, both of them, they are on their sweat bottom, start putting their hand in there, they, they sweat and they start scratching, they start scratching, they said, I said, what up to you guys? They said, daddy, my, our skin is scratching us, unbelievable. Remember, these are pros that walk briskly every day. And yesterday, they just started walking. And um, immediately, all over start itching. And I recognize something that all the body stay. Whenever you decide to exercise and you're going to walk to go and look for, for Sister Matty or Mars Gossi, the body knows that it's that real exercise that you're going to do. You're going to look for someone or is that you're going to probably buy somewhere, or buy something or some stress. So even though you benefit, you do not benefit 100% as if when you put on the gears and everything and decide that you're going to go walking. And it's right there when my daughters were, were itching all over. The Lord revealed to me, say, at least you find out what is mad blood disease. What is happening here, Bridging, is that for the first time, blood is reaching certain areas that it never reached before. And this is what is causing the itching. So when you just start walking, Bridging, you find yourself itching. Blood is finally reaching these dead areas. And after a while, it disappears and it don't happen anymore. Right? It don't happen anymore. So it's very important for us to what? To exercise seven days a week as long as it is what? Possible. Right? Any question? Any question as, as we close? Is there any question that anyone would like to ask? Anyone at all? Question. Walking like you're doing a 5K. Is it different from walking ordinary casually for exercise? All right. As I said, that where walking is concerned, there is brisk walking, right? But as long as you're walking and uh, you are you can't um you can't communicate with someone you can't talk to someone where exercise is concerned and you want to burn fat that will be going too fast but with a 5k you have an aim in mind you want to probably finish at a good time okay. right? it's a one-time thing it's not an everyday thing this is just a, a one-time thing and as long as you are walking daily that will prepare you to do a better time in that in that in that 5k i've seen a lot of 5ks where the where the persons who live by the laws of health they are the one that that comes in first even dr lamby when she used to do this and thing like that for custom nobody could catch her she'd be just moving right she'd be just moving so it's a different thing when you have on a 5k it's not about it you need to be moving it and then and then because you're going to do it you would have exercise and as well, dr lamby said when you're going to do a 5K, you don't just jump in it. Yeah. Your exercise. <laughs> One thing I must tell you again, Bridget, stretch, stretching is extremely important for us. Mm -hmm. Right? You mustn't stretch your cold muscle. But you must not stretch cold muscle. Yeah. Warm up slightly first. Warm up. And when you do a lot of stressing, it keeps you younger, longer. Mm -hmm. All right? Uh, exercise, um, the, not, not those big weight thing, but when you tone up, and things like that, it keep you looking younger, longer, and you are far more effective, right? So it's extremely important for us yes. to be walk. Okay. Um, I see. Um, um, brother Black also. Yes, brother Black, you yes, You can go ahead. Yes, sir. If I may add, um, deep breathing is another important one. We sometimes fail to use our lung, and um, breathing in um adequate amount of air. And so it is very important that we do so, especially in the mornings when the air is fresh and, you know, everything is fresh, more or less. And that <clears> so is we so practice true. deep breathing. That is so true. So as long as you're not walking past the cheese factory, practice deep breathing. <laughs> deep breathing, okay? that's right. Yes, great, it great. It enhances so, many, so much things. And all the laws of health, you can tie them into exercise. All of them. That's, your that's water, so true. Your water, that's right. Okay. That's so true. That's so true. Simone Chung, your hand is up. You can go ahead. Uh, my question is about sleep, the previous discussion. 
Yeah. Yes. Um. Rest. Sorry. Rest. If 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 one hour before midnight is like two hours. If you go to bed at nine, and then you wake up at two, would that count as eight hours? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Told, okay then. I, I, but by when, whenever I go to bed early, I've, uh, I, I normally wake up two, um, probably after two. Whenever I go to bed nine, if I go to bed eight nine, I wake up that time. That's it. It takes me right through the day. But one thing, because I wake up that early, when sunset comes, unlike other person who like. Um, we call it the, the, of the door cell battery that keep going on and on. And when sunset come, immediately my eyes, you see, naturally when sunset come, the trees, the leaves start going down, the grass start fading. It's naturally for me when sunset come, when I wake up five o'clock in the morning to go to, 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 to go to start sleeping. But a lot of persons, they say, um, <coughs> I like to sleep. It's not like I like to sleep. I wake up early in the morning while they are yes, in their sir. deep sleep. They like to sleep. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Doc. If if I if I may just add, add an observation, LT. Yeah. Um, persons, if you if you are traveling, um, it, it's natural that what you're saying there is very natural. But if you are traveling, let's say as soon as night comes or the sun begins to go down. You want to sleep. If you have to travel at long distance, whether it's, it's a compulsory, it is best for you to get a rest, sleep first, and then thereafter, two o'clock or thereafter, you would have traveled. That's you would so have, it would have benefited you much more. And you would have been able to gain your restful sleep or your whatever it is then. That's so true. I remember that is increased melatonin that, 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 that allows us to sleep. Right. right, Sister Michelle, Sister Michelle, well, I say Sister Mitch, I don't know if it's yes, Michelle. Yes, my, yes, my brother. Yeah. I have, a, I have a question to ask you. Let's, the person who have a regular, let's say that you have some person who will get up, say, 5.30 in the morning, yeah. and they'll say, they, they'll say they, they're doing their early morning walk. Yeah. And they say they're exercising. Okay, how about the person who don't do that, but... The person have to take the taxi, let's say, let's say half a mile every day, Monday to Friday. And that person would walk to the tax to, to take the taxi. Would those two persons, those two activities still classify as regular exercise? All right. Look at it now. Why you benefit from it? It's different altogether. Remember I tell you, if you decide to walk miles to that to, to take the, the taxi. Yeah. You wouldn't get no itching in the legs. Right? You see the day that you decide to do exercise, as soon as you start walking, you start getting the itching. Right? So as brisk as you walk for the taxi in the morning, are we yeah. going? It, it yeah. does not, it does not remember you now. The itching is that blood is now reaching finally. Heroes were never reached before. You understand? So while walking those long distance, you don't get the itching. Right, the blood don't circulate the way with art. So even though you benefit, you don't benefit as much as when you decide. I don't know God created us, but we are wonderfully made. So as soon as the, the mind has a lot to do with it, so as soon as the mind gear up for exercise only, somehow certain arm or certain thing chipping right away, that we can get the best um, benefit from it. So it is the, so it is safe to say then is not every movement can be classified as exercise. Yeah, not that it's not exercise, but in everything we want the best. Okay. Right? Okay. So it's still exercising us. Is. Brother, still still I have a question. Okay. Because when I, I remember being a child and walking early in the mornings at six o'clock to catch a text, and I used to have the itching. Okay. You need to walk. How long, that, how long that happened for? As you know, it stops after a while. It doesn't keep. When you just start doing it, the itching starts, but after a while, your body adapts, your toxins are released, and you, you, you it stops. But it used to happen to me as a child when I used to walk the long distance to take the taxi. I saw well, it very, very vividly, those itchings. I don't want to walk that yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, but let me tell you something. As an adult, your mind is on, on getting the taxi. As a child, this is exercise for you. 
You understand? Right. Okay, I get it. I get it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yes. And, and um, one of the things we also need to remember is that um, exercise is also mental. So therefore, when we are going out to exercise, when you are dressed up to go take your taxi, you don't want to sweat up and you don't want to walk too fast um, to, 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 to mess up your clothes. You don't, you don't want to be sweating, right? When you're exercising, the, the whole aim is to work up a sweat. Yeah. So the adrenaline start pumping, your mindset is different. That's right, right Doc. So when you're just going up, you don't want no sweat. So you do everything to avoid sweating. And if you have to run and catch the bus or something, you regret it that you even have to do that. And you're not thinking exercise. You're thinking regret. You understand? So the mind is not in that place where the adrenaline can pump. Also, as best as possible, so, when you exercise... When you exercise in the morning, that clothes that you wear in the morning with all of those toxins by the sweat coming out as much as and best as possible in the following day change. Don't wear the same thing again. Okay? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yes, yes, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's say exercise is always vigorous movement. Yeah. Yes. Not, not a little, you know, yeah. slow, slow movement, but it should be always be vigorous movement. Because you're right. working with an aim in view. For your lymph node is it's cleaning up the blood, etc. Um, your sweat glands working, etc. And all those other things. Your heart, everything. So yeah. we, it, it should be vigorous. It should be vigorous. All right. Sister Gritton. Sister Gritton. Your hand, yes. hand is up. Yes, also Elder Taylor, when I'm talking about exercise and the clothes, it is best. I remember... Um, I think it's Barbara O'Neill when we she had the, the, her presentation. She said it's it's his best if we don't let even the clothes dry on us. We should as soon as we finish, we should take it off and have a shower because uh, if the clothes, the same sweaty clothes, dries back on you, the toxins can be reas reabsorbed into your body. Yeah, and, and it's and it's even worse then. I remember these pores; they are like little mouth. Yes. They, you understand? They will they will pull it back in for sure, right? So, and I'm saying exercises like the, the laws of health are like medication. When you go to a doctor and him give you medication, you take it seven days a week, no exception. And that is even worse because taking it seven days a week is killing you quicker. Right? Doing the, the eight laws of health seven days a week, it's healing you faster. Okay? So, let us exercise, brethren, because as I said, at the more mature you get, I don't want to say the older you become, but the more you're getting up there and the more you exercise. We have seen first that come today to us, our office, 74, 70 are there all that exercise. You wonder what is happening there. You understand? You, you want, but, but what they do, they, they, they put in everything. They make sure that they're trying their best to obey the laws of health and it pays off, okay? All right, Brother Black is one such person. All right, any, any, anyone else? Any more question? What do you say, Abby? About... Uh, brother, brother Taylor? Yes, my sister. I don't have a question, but um, I realize that sometimes, like if I'm feeling, like if I'm feeling sick, yeah. Um, sometimes I get really down. But then when I when I do like my exercise yeah. and stuff like that, then it makes my my entire body feels um different, better, yeah. happy yeah. and stuff like that. So um I realize that Apart from the fact that exercise releases endorphins, which are the feel-good hormones, yeah. it tends to help to build um, my self-esteem. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So if you know the sunlight has a lot to do with that, let us just live by the word of God. And just there's no difference between the health laws and the moral law. If you break one, you're guilty of all. Okay? Was the information helpful this evening? Very helpful. Yes, it was. Excellent. All right. Every All right. Most. Brother Taylor. Right. Yeah? This is my.